This is Pure Vinci on Sweet Radio SVG and you know on Pure Vinci we celebrate the sound and the soul of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It is particularly thrilling for me this evening to be presenting Pure Vinci as my guest is David Ricardo Ned. I know him as Ricky but he prefers to be called Ricardo Ned. Welcome to Sweet Radio SVG and welcome, welcome to Pure um, Vinci. Th thanks for having me. Ricky, you have gone through a lot in life, but we are here particularly to celebrate the publishing of your book of poems, From Drought to Providence. So congratulations on the publication. Thank you for congratulating me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about From Drought to Providence. What does the name represent? Well, the, 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 the name represents from drought, meaning from a, a rough patch in life to Providence, to a more productive and peaceful Providence, in one word, is Christ. It's from the drought to Providence because he has walked and he has made a change and I am nothing without him. And I looked at the cover of your book and I see a pelican heading out to the sunset. It is a strange choice, especially coming from St. Vincent and the Grenadines where we see few pelicans. What is that about? Um, even when I got the inspiration, I was wondering what this is about because I remember if you're depending on God, he tells you where to go, what to use and what to do. And I researched it, and it and it's like saying like uh, the, the pelican doesn't want too much. It doesn't want too much that is not needed. In other words, it keep what is needed. Another, another character, it, uh, it releases cluster. Anybody in your life or anything in your life that makes you sets you back or holds you down, you you, you, um, you get rid of that. It releases clutter. Anything or any person in your life that is weighing you down or causing um, setbacks or drawbacks or problems. You, you, you immediately get rid of them and it's also selfless meaning that you're out to help people sometimes you want to know why you're doing this is because Christ himself has instilled this in you so that you must help because you are um, like taking his character because of the gift that he's given you also it's also cooperative cooperative in a positive way with, with those who are going forward and supporting a worthy cause Ricky it's a book of 45 poems what are the poems about Different topics. Uh, well, uh, I wrote about the, the, um, my struggles with drug addiction, with uh, even some relationships, because other persons out there need help along with, with, with addictions too. Uh, life ain't about just one addiction, a uh, drug addiction. People, people, people grow up in some homes, people in some circumstances that they can't get out immediately. So, my experience would help somebody going through these experiences as well is inspiration, is healing, is therapy, also people who, everybody, because anybody could relate because none is perfect and everybody has something that to deal with. The good thing though is that there is hope because God, God is always there, it's just for them to reach out and be genuine in, the, in, in, in their uh, pursuit of Him. Where does the inspiration come from? You said you have varying topics, so I could understand naturally one is very personal in that you, you use your drug addiction experience to tell stories. But where do the other topics come from? Sometimes just the other personal character, the part, the character, the happy, the happy part, because coming off a drug is really a high, you know, it's, it's a natural high, Christ, the joy, the peace that he, he gives. Sometimes you see a sunset and you're right. Sometimes you look at a person and you're right. You might love a person and you're right. You know, from different experiences too, because when you set free, that the real person comes out. There's no enslavement, and in that liberty, it is an opportunity to, to create and create um, positively. And what's your process like? I don't know. Sometimes it, uh, you might just, like at that time you might be sleeping, and one line come, one line come to mind, and you have to get up regardless of what time in the morning, you have to get up and deal with it, or you lose the whole inspiration. At times, like, I wrote a poem named The Great Diggers, and I started at time I went mountain when I was in South Rivers and that, 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 that poem is about so much so much years old and I started as a process of, a, a, a process of different years and I culminated it like eventually. So now some, post, some poems take time and some come for a short time. When did you start writing with you? Uh, since, since I was on drug. I remember that poem, If Today Becomes Tomorrow, was a night, uh, a night when I was in a, an, an, uh, I used to sleep in the park. Right, and that, that, that poem come that, that night. 
in that short, short moment, everything, I had a paper and a pen, I just done use some drugs, right, and then me and I cool off. I used, I usually used to have a radio. I used to listen, in the day, I used to listen to Harbour Light, in the night, I used to listen to uh, Praise FM. So God was always a part of the, uh, uh, even though so then, he was only hope until he eventually came to That night I wrote that poem and then, so wow. And then I sat, you know, I was, I, I didn't say, I, I mean, this is where this come from. I know that there was something there. So then that kind of gave me hope to come off. I didn't come off at that time, but... Can you share two lines of that with us? Yes, uh, tonight I make my bed between the sky and the grave. I have my pillow to lay my head, only the minutes that today gave. I live life step by step, but I'm grateful for tomorrow. When you buy the book, you'll get the rest. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am proud to say I already have my book in my Amazon basket. Okay. I know you have it on Amazon in two formats. There's yes. the paperback and there's the Kindle. Yes. But I particularly wanted the paperback format because I need to get my copy of your very first publication yeah, autographed, if you yeah. please. I hope you're the first person too, because you have helped a lot. Sometimes it's just the little things. Sometimes it don't have to be material. It's just because there's how God made us. Yeah. When somebody genuinely interested or care about you, you know it. You walk into a room and you don't realize there's an enemy. That person hates me, but you just shrug it off realizing, well, so what? God loves me, and then you, you go with that. You know when somebody genuinely said and they help you to, um, to come off too. And sometimes you, you heal not just for yourself, for the others, because it's like a teacher. When you teach this class, if everybody pass, then he get the credit. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know. I'm particularly glad also that some of the people who really believed in me, uh, I came up before they die, or they saw that they could see that oh, shoes. There is hope because everybody has something that they're dealing with. Well, to be honest with you, I think most of the people who know you always had faith in you, and they always thought there was far more to you than what we saw originally. So I guess this is just proof that our confidence was not misplaced. Our confidence was well placed. So you again have to take the credit, Ricky. Because yeah, yeah, this yeah. Is all I mean, you're doing. I'll, I'll be very careful that because sometimes when you put too much on yourself, I mean, I, I understand what Christ was saying. Yes, you get puffed up and you, you kind of, you know, get, you know, you have to be careful with that because I think when you're humble, God gives you everything. He gives you everything because it's like a space that all the spaces that you would have, He's just taken up and then he Himself at work in you. Mm -hmm. It's no longer you. I want, I, I want to continue like that. The Tishra not perfect. I'm striving towards that, that every day is, um, you consecrate your life to him. Every day, every day. Many times you wake up and do know well, boy, what God went to do today, my plan is Lord, I want to make this, this amount of money, I had this bill to pay. And then he, 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 he carried it there a different way, and then he said, well, boy, it's, like, it's like an adventure. It's a peaceful adventure. You know? Well, he leading, I don't know where he's going, but let me just go with it. <laughs> you, you said you have different types of stories. Are there particular stories that you prefer to tell? No, I mean, uh, well, you know, you won't say everything that I read because I want some people, but sometimes some poems come to mind. That you say, well, with some stories, like, I write one with um, Miyakli. And I see where that came from is like with a story with this this guy who stole at five. And the, and the, 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 um, the person whose, daughter, who, whose mother he stole from, he ended up marrying the girl, right? <laughs> it's just, it's, that story is also in the book. <laughs> Okay. So you, you're throwing out a lot of teasers here, a yes, lot of yeah, teasers, yeah, you're yeah. piquing the interest yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's great. Uh, I know that when people have children, yeah. they say, I don't love anyone more than I love the other. Yes. Do you have a favorite poem though? No, you know, no, I, I, I mean, some, I mean, sometimes I think of a poem, if you remember where, where the inspiration come from, where the inspiration, but Grave Diggers is a poem that, that is beyond me. It's like, you know, it's like... I mean, it's like, I say what I say was dying. That is God Himself, because it's, it's like a it's a it's a funeral procession. But the way the, how God did what, what He did with it, show me. It's awesome. Just share two lines of what God okay, did. Uh, okay, then should I? Please. <laughs> they tell without farming, and reap tears of mourning. The welcome corpse, be they of all age or strife, death is their way of life. They mock at the infamous laughter. For pride is a servant that humility will master. Again, the rest is in the book. <laughs> <laughs> teasing, teasing, Ricky. Ricky, you have 45 poems. Is that the extent of your writing? No. Yeah, there are more poems I've written and there's more to, more, there's more to write. God is limited. It's, it's about me. It's never about me. It's never, it will never be about me. So what was the selection process like? How did you decide which ones to publish this time around? Uh, 
it's, 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 it's just see. It's just see. I mean, I don't, this is the whole thing. When you're in Christ, you do things. And at the time, so that you do a thing, I mean, order in, in his order. Sometimes, then when you want, like the pelican, I don't know why that come, but then when I see such, I understand why, you know. I, I didn't give myself my gift, I didn't know what, but he know what he going to do. I mean, I didn't, okay, then I didn't choose the life, I didn't work with him, I was on drugs, but then why did I have to go so, go so far and come back and, and come right back? That this is a reason, so there's a purpose behind everything that you do. And I am glad to glorify him in that respect. How difficult is it to get your book published? Uh, well, it wasn't difficult because, as I say, he, I, I have a team. In life, everybody has a team. And the team that we're with you, I remember, as I said, those who join in you like you, they would push the book. Sometimes even your enemies help you. Because when a man is pleased with God, he'd make it even his enemies to be at peace with him. Right? And for me, there are no enemies. They're just people that, you know, he on my level. Okay? Uh, I send people to work with me, and I appreciate them, you know, and, and so on. You know, I mean, as I said, it's like, a, it's like, like, even though I go into some stresses, realizing some happy stresses, realizing that it is finished as far as that. But then there's more to be done because uh, uh, there's more to reach, more people to reach, much to be done. How how difficult is the publishing process? Mm, difficult. Mm, uh, maybe, maybe I won't say difficult because the people who he, he put in me in, me, in the team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you have any reservations when you were deciding to publish? No, I mean, I just, I mean, my, my, his time, you know, it's just that the desire to publish at this time, you know, was then, and then I just had to move with him. He just had to move with him. He, he gets up and he, tell you, he directs the whole life. He tells well, don't go and do this today. Sometimes, even within yourself, you kind of doubt it. You just coach with it because he is leading. How do you feel now, Ricky? The book is published. I'm sure when you started writing, when you wrote that first one, yes, you never thought that this is where you'd be today. How do you feel now? No, well, uh, when I, w I was looking at my life and I was saying all about power, because then this is why this is why I like doing. I like music too. I like I writing songs and that thing. But then I just love poetry. I could sit down and you know sometimes and I, I think there's a witty and there is a um, humorous side of me too, so that come out and so on. But if I wasn't happy. If I didn't, I wasn't released from the drug, I couldn't get a part out. So then there's, now that I am free and I'm clean, there's so much more to do. But I mean, I have to wait on him for, the, for directives. You said you write songs as well? So yes. you write poems, you write songs. Yes. What else do you write? Mm, um, plays, but none of the plays I've, I've shown anybody, none of the plays I've shown anybody. There is one that I particularly like, uh, a Caribbean Chinese tale about, it's about, I'll get a little brief for that. It's about two children, is that, um, Two scholars, one, two Caribbean scholars, one from Trinidad and the other from Jamaica. They, they were studying in, in China and they get married and they fell in love, right? They are two children, which is a twin, which are twins. Uh, and the night when they eaten, smugglers came in and killed the parents and separate the children. And they had this particular song they used to sing, a particular poem they used to sing, and that, that brought them back, the, the son. He became, a, he became a drug baron and she became a lawyer. And it's not until he, he shall bow to, she, okay then, not until she shall bow to um, convicting. And then she realized, well, that's my brother. Because he's saying the same poem. And she finished it and she realized, boy, I have to find her release in this game. Oh, nice. Yes. So then, Ricky, we have to get some playwrights in touch with you and see. Right, right. If yeah. that is the no, there's next, a there's next, there's a mas there's a masterpiece. Too. Next step on your journey is to release a play. One of the poems, um, one of the poems, We Caribbean, that could playing with the same uh, a Caribbean Chinese still too because it's like you know along the same line you know and it's like it span different places plus it, it, there it's, it's in Colombia it's in China it's in America and different characters well the National Drama Festival I am sure would be able to use some of your work so perhaps yeah, 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 this yeah. is an opportunity for those people the directors and the yeah, producers yeah. to get in touch and see what I learn, they I learn, can I learn this too. Um, like, I tell me, like, that's why sometimes if I find it to myself too. Like, I, I, I say, I, I am selfish, I don't, I'm, I'm, I, I like be by myself and someone, and that's how it is. That's what, what, how you tend to create. I mean, I, I though I, I'm a very friendly person, I don't really associate much, right? I have to, like, I, like all the time by myself, so I could create. Mm. Yeah. So you need that peace and tranquility. Yes, to yes, yes, yes. And there's, there's a part of myself that sometimes I don't like it because sometimes I don't go out, but then really and truly I'm happy in my own space. So then like, they attempt to, to, attempt to create no distractions and everything. So it's it's getting lonely sometimes, yeah, but still. 
I mean, as, as, with, as with everything, there's, there's advantages and disadvantages. How do you promote from drought to providence? Uh, well, well, some people tell me that I mean, as far as monetary, monetary is, con is concerned, but then it would be promoted by the fact, by the change life. People could see, well, yeah, this person went this journey. This is a living testimony. This ain't no lie. This is event. We saw it. Right? So then people would people, people jump in because people like to be associated with success. And about marketing, marketing and distribution, you um, already have it available on Amazon. Yes, I, I, I mean, I, I'm looking for some sponsors. People out there, look for some sponsors because, I mean, whoever helped me, God helped them. And, and we are helped because people out there want to read this. People, people out there sometimes, I mean, I, I like to make some money, yes, but sometimes it's not even self about always about the money. People out there want some changes too. People could see what they I mean, that change is possible. Remember, I remember at that time somebody, I was down by a shop and somebody was saying, boy, when you, you can't come off a drug. And another person tell him, how oh, yes, you you for come off a drugs and look, you drinking beer so long. And <laughs> 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 if there are other people that need help too. Some people have some serious problems that they're going through. Everybody is under some, some clinch. So you're thinking that by reading the book and being touched and moved by yeah, a yeah. particular story in the book, yes. you would be motivated to share the story of from drought to providence with other people. Exactly. Too. And then the thing is that it's not just if the sin that's not 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 like other writers just write off the head and thing. Right? Um, it is to the inspiration come from God. But God Himself is in it. It is it's, 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 it comes with the spirit. It comes with the spirit. Sometimes and you could it, it, just like with music, you, you hear calypso and you want wine up and you want dance and you want drink and you want do other things, right? That influence come. If it comes from a pure place, a peaceful place, the person who read it could identify. In God's presence, and when you're not writing, Ricky, what do you do? Well, well, I, I like movies, but God like to cut them out from them now. So then it's just <laughs> writing, writing for now. But it's important, and it's it's paramount. I mean, mine must always be on him. If be mine on him, I comfort. I I am comfortable. If I leave the house and me mine is not in him, I just as miserable as a person who accept Christ. I can't live without him. On the 16th of November, 2022. David Ricardo Ned published From Drought to Providence. It's a book of 45 poems covering different topics from addiction to inspiration, joy, happiness, and it is available at this time on Amazon.com. It's available in paperback format and it's also available by digital download. So you can just go over to Amazon.com, buy a book, give a good Vincentian gift for Christmas 2022, for birthdays, for just to say I'm thinking of you. I love you enough to give you a book uh -huh. of poems from Drought to Problems. Could I add that I will need some sponsors um, worldwide to help this was push, help this, help this push out, bring, bring it out from Amazon and spread it around the world for me. I would appreciate that very much on God's behalf. Ricky, mm -hmm. I know that in your compilation, as we said, there are 45 poems, and I know you've been teasing us and teasing us with different snippets of different poems. But one of the poems that I saw how many years ago, I don't remember, that I love two bits mm. is Gone. Would you please do me the honor of sharing Gone with us? Okay, the whole thing, right? Please. Okay, okay sometimes we would worry, but to be concerned is the norm. Other times we might not be ready for things we weren't want. We can make adjustments easily knowing that circumstances and situations will soon be gone. You lost it yesterday, so where did the tree. But the future creates chances for everyone. Hope would be rooted in every opportunity so that the desire to succeed would not be gone. It was beautiful, love came easily. Now they are leaving, incompatible, you move on. Fate is inevitable, hence the reality. You belong to another, and now they are gone. A cold sickness, pain and disease affect in many ways. Still men live on. We give time, treasure, talent just to be at ease and pray that these maladies be gone. Away, far away fly your friend. So a companion is temporarily airborne. Though they may only have a short time to spend, there is impatience because they are gone. If say it was mine over matter, then why do addicts go on? Find the matter of the mind to stop each disaster then the reason for the problems would be gone. When an ally is being buried, in that friendship of rose, there is a thorn. What you encountered, overcame or carried, 
what were real experiences, but now they are gone. In God's sight, men are equal and special. Each is, in, each is unique with a purpose for being born. Forgiveness for salvation is timely and very crucial. Do accept and believe before the moment is gone. Ricky, what's your purpose for being born? <laughs> well, before, before I go on, I say two things I need to know is that I mean, to be born, and the next thing is to know the reason why. <laughs> My main purpose is to glorify God. And right now we see this through poems and through writings and through living a consecrated life. As I say, I'm not perfect. There's still character defects. But there are things I used to do that I've come away from. Thanks to God. Ricky, thank you so much for yeah. being here, for sharing this moment with me. Congratulations once again on the publication of From Drought to Providence. And I am looking forward to volume two of yes. Whether From Drought to Providence or some other title. And hopefully we'll soon see one of your plays being produced and shown in the Peace Memorial Hall. But very best wishes on From Drought to Providence. and. Heartiest congratulations from us at Sweet Radio SVG. Okay. Remember everybody to put God first in everything. Again reminding me again reminding me sponsors who God you know, God is lead out and put me on the heart. So then put put my heart put me on their heart to, to work with me. Uh, God has led and he would he would continue to, to, to lead to lead out. Thanks a lot. Thank you.